The song you're hearing is Don't You Know by Jan Hammer, a musician sometimes only remembered for making the Miami Vice soundtrack. Believe it or not, unearthing this song helped convince Spotify that their playlist by algorithm, Discover Weekly, was onto something big. But how can a machine know that you dig obscure 1970s synth funk? We'll explain. Finding new music isn't always easy, something Spotify's Discover Weekly playlist tries to rectify. We asked Matt Ogle, music discovery lead and the late-blooming Jan Hammer convert, to explain its appeal. Its success has been driven by the fact that it sort of took all that work out of Discovery. It just said, hey, it's Monday morning, here's a playlist. And you can almost see how eerily good the algorithm is at getting people. Every Sunday night, there's a spike as users rush to save the music they found and now love before it's replaced on Monday. And that accuracy is due to what Spotify calls the cyborg approach. I think it's a fool's errand to try to build some big computer brain that eventually will understand music better than, you know, better than a human. It's our users or our editors who spot something first, and then it's the algorithm's job to amplify that. On one hand, there are the choices of the curating community. 100 million people making 2.5 billion playlists. Every single song on your Discover Weekly every week is there because at least one other person on Spotify essentially vouched for it by putting it on a playlist of their own. On the other side, there's the individual and all your musical choices. The algorithm searches for similarities between the streams. If you and a playlist maker both like two songs, then Discover Weekly serves up a third song that you haven't heard before. It's called collaborative filtering, but because it relies on choices at scale, it can emphasize the now popular. Bad news for anyone who might one day love Jan Hammer B-sides. So there's another layer. Spotify tools group your listening history into these super specific mini genres. Your taste profile looks kind of like a volcanic island. It shifts, but around its peaks are your current musical favorites. The playlist match songs Discover Weekly locates for you are confined to the foothills of what you already listen to. And at the same time, the algorithm spots and then filters out what you might play a lot, but not necessarily want to play a lot. Because a lot of people have this sort of strange island of taste way over here, um, and it had completely uncharacteristic stuff in it. And we kept going, what are these islands? And when we looked, it was almost always Disney or, or things like that. Everything, though, starts with playlists, and that makes the output malleable. Dormant songs from the 50s and 60s have suddenly appeared on Mondays as newer artists sample them and users curate them. So even though it may not exactly feel like your old mixtape, Discover Weekly is giving you something that originated with human musical choices, just amplified. Kind of like Jan Hammer's keyboard. <laughs>